Hello, gorgeous. Happy 4th of July, and welcome to the empties for June 2015. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to apologize for not bringing you the Battle of the Foundations for the past two weeks. Um, those of you who have been with me for a while uh, may remember that in early March I started a new job. Well, um, on hmm, the 16th of June, I gave two weeks notice at that job and so my last day was the 30th. Unfortunately, uh, I was out sick for one full week of the two weeks notice I, I gave. I got uh, just a raging case of labyrinthitis again. Quite frankly, the worst I've had since the very first time I got labyrinthitis 15 years ago uh, to the point this, this year was completely closed up and this year was partially closed up. And the best way I can describe that to you is like uh, what it is when you put your head under water. But anyway, um, I did offer to work an additional week, but they'd already got it in the computer, so um, they said that wasn't necessary. But uh, regarding that job, um, I love the company very much. I have the utmost respect for the great work that they're doing, but I was a bit of a... a what is that saying? A round peg in a square hole. Um, I was uh, an insurance, uh, third party insurance coordinator working on behalf of hospitals and try as I might. Let me just say this. I've got a master's degree and a half of another master's degree and that was easy. Insurance is hard. And I don't know if it's a matter of you can't teach an old dog new tricks because there were, you know, high school graduates in there picking it up like that and me still not understanding. Or if it's just a matter of aptitudes. I mean, we're all good at something. I'm good at a great many things, but I wasn't good at that. So, uh, you know, as time went on, I just, you know, saw that I was not improving and didn't didn't feel like an asset to the company and just felt horrible about going down there and being paid to do something I felt I wasn't doing well. And so that's why I quit. And also because of this labyrinthitis, I had had three or four absences and they were unexcused because the doc, it's a chronic condition. And if I were to go to the doctor, he'd say, why are you here? You already have a prescription for this. So Anyway, I'm going to uh, chill for a couple weeks and then I'm going to look for something part-time or temporary. I think that might be a better thing given this labyrinthitis. Uh, but I say all that because so many of you have been so supportive uh, about this job, particularly early on when I was very anxious about it. Uh, and I just wanted to let you know how it all panned out. Sadly, it panned out. Um, so anyway, as I say again, I have nothing but admiration for the company and all my coworkers and my supervisor was great. She was just great. Um, so anyway, on with the empties. Uh, it's light this month because, as I say, I was sick for a full week. And also I did um, the 30 samples in June. So I used up a lot of samples instead of product. At any rate, let's get on with it. Uh, CVS cotton facial pads, 100% cotton. This is kind of weird because these were big. These were like three by four inches. And I bought these at a period of time when I had run out of um, the sh cotton clouds, which are Shiseido dupes. And so what I did was I cut these into fourths and used them. And uh, that was kind of strange, but they serve their purpose till I got some more cotton clouds. Um, you may recall a couple of months ago I used up some of my um, bathroom spray and I told you I'd be using the other one up within a month but it lasted much longer than that. But this is the silly kind of stuff. This is Jack the Ripper Laboratory Mist. Uh, a light yet effective remedy useful for clearing the air of any foulness, no fewer than 500 applications in each and every bottle contains no opium or narcotics. So there it is. So as long as you have this, you can just go in the bathroom and let it rip. Let's see, it says instantly eliminates that which reeks. 
And there you go. So that's the end of that one. Uh, this I had in my desk at work. I cut the top off of it to finish using it. Um, this was Cranberry Medley Hand Cream by Philosophy. Uh, as you may recall, I got several of these around Christmas time. And um, I gave one to one of my sisters and I gave one to somebody else. But anyway, I had two of these and this was very nice, but I'm not buying Philosophy anymore. I had it, when I bought it, I had it in mind that they were cruelty free, but they're not. So that's the end of that. Um, this is my Longer Stronger Hair and Nails by Applied Nutrition. Uh, I buy this every month. Um, my nails are a lot stronger. Um, they still tend to split, but not as much as before. So I'm going to continue using this. Um, I finally used up this uh, Chanel Loose, let's see, Perfecting Powder. My color was Dawn. Um, it was just, you know, your basic loose powder. All gone. And uh, Chanel is not cruelty free, so I won't repurchase. But, um, and I'll also tell you something else. As far as setting powders go, this is not even my favorite one. Um, it was long ago when I bought it, but since then they've become more finely milled and this isn't as good to my mind as it used to be. I, I'd go for Laura Mercier if I were you. Even if that weren't cruelty free. Uh, somehow I managed to kill some tweezers. Look at that. I, I broke it off. I don't know how I did that. Um, this is just one of those little dangly things you hang from your keychain that has uh, antibacterial hand wash on it. And I just do that as a matter of course anytime I come out of a public place. And having it on the keychain makes it very convenient to remember. You know, you get in the car and before you start the car you just go ahead. And I say that because I'm, I'm inclined to catch every flu, anything that's out there, I catch it. So this is a good thing for me to have. Um, I used up a very generic bottle of witch hazel. Um, my ex, Richard, um, has been visiting a lot because he's doing work on his house and he likes this a lot. And so finally I just said, let me borrow one of your bottles and, um, by golly, I'd forgotten how much I like this. So I'm using this right now because I do have another bottle as my toner. Because, you know, back in my high school years, that was it. You had Witch Hazel or you had OJ's Beauty Lotion until, I guess, Clinique came on the scene. Uh, but I forgot how much I love this. So, <laughs> as you can see, and I used this up over the course of, I guess, probably two and a half months. I don't have to repurchase because I've got like two or three more bottles. I think he found a sale. Okay, I used up this Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Towelettes with Apple and Lemon Peel to cleanse and moisturize all in one. And um, I like this way better than the Yes to Coconuts. The Yes to Coconuts, there's something strange about. And I would say I even like it a little better than the Yes to Carrots because of the moisturizing factor. Um, I don't know that I'm going to buy it again because um, how much I'm liking the micellar waters. And I have found a cruelty-free one that I, I, I know I'm looking around so I can show it to you. I have found a cruelty-free one that I'm liking a lot. Embroy, embryoless, is that how that's pronounced? Embryo, like an embryo, embryo list. Anyway, this is a cruelty free brand, and I am liking that their micellar water. Sadly, not quite as much as I liked Simple, but Simple is not cruelty free. And finally, I do believe this is finally, uh, this is Sisley Botanical Eye and Lip Special Cleanser. In other words, it's eye makeup and, um, 
lipstick remover and it was really good but it, and Sicily is cruelty free but they sell in um, China which makes them not cruelty free so I won't buy this I'm con continuing my search for a cruelty free brand that I like but this was excellent it got every bit of makeup off and if you were wearing a lip stain it got every bit of the lip stain off it was fab and finally an entire bag of samples and if you want reviews on the samples I am going to have to refer you to uh, those videos which I will link below but yes another month of using up a lot of stuff so I'm not going to do uh, samples in July or August in terms of one a day but I think I'm going to do sample September and in September I'm going to use nothing but samples um, by that I mean every product I put use is going to be a sample except for the fact that uh, I don't have any blush samples I just don't have any and uh, I'm not going to change my nighttime routine I refuse so that's it um, I should be returning next week to try to finish the battle of the foundations because look y'all I mean, these are the ones you haven't seen yet okay <laughs> um, and I really do want to finish that up and uh, what else seems like there's something else I wanted to tell you but perhaps not anyway okay so I guess that's it uh, I am a little rusty for having taken off a week and a half I apologize for that but um, I'll be getting back into the groove back into the YouTube groove and I will see you all next week if not sooner love you bye